Hi, I'm QDC. Right now, we're in Alameda, California, and I'm taking you over to this very historic ship that we're on right now. We're on board the USS Hornet, and this is an aircraft carrier that was made back in World War II. This is an Essex-class carrier, and the reason why I brought you here to this particular aircraft carrier is because this is a perfect place for me to introduce to you the model that I'm going to build. During World War II, this particular carrier carried one of the most important fighter planes during the war. And I'm going to tell you more about that as I give you a guided tour of this particular ship as I build the model. So come along with me. Right now we're inside the hangar deck and this is the place where they held one of the most important planes of World War II. What I'm standing uh, right behind me is the Wildcat. And the Wildcat was not here on the USS Hornet as, as far as I know, not on this particular aircraft carrier. But during World War II, this particular aircraft carrier held a better uh, fighter airplane. It held the F-6F Hellcat. And that's what we're going to build today. Today we're going to build the Academy's F6F Hellcat in 172nd scale. So let's go start building this particular kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have one plastic bag containing the fuselage the wings and the rest of the parts, decal, and the instruction sheet. It's time for me to paint the interior. I already gave the cockpit a coat of black primer and the reason why I'm painting the interior first is because it's easier for me to actually paint the interior now versus trying to do it later after I assemble the model completely. I want to talk to you more about rescribing panel lines. I just finished sanding the seams away on this model and also by sanding the seams away I also sanded away the panel lines so I need to rescribe them. What I'm pointing at right here is an old photo edge fret and I took a piece off of that photo edge fret and this is going to, going to be my straight edge. 
I'm going to place the straight edge onto the area where I want to have the panel line rescribed about right there exactly and then with the blunt end of my hobby knife I'm going to carefully rescribe each panel line I'm going to make some holes for the gun barrels. What you see right now is the wing and I'm pointing directly at the three machine guns for this particular wing and they do not have holes in each barrel so I'm going to make one. Right over here in my hand is a pin vise and right on the top of the pin vise is a very fine drill and I'm going to make a hole on each gun barrel to make it look more realistic. I just finished painting the engine. What you're looking at right now is the famous Pratt & Whitney Double Wasp engine. And this was a very famous engine for its time during World War II. A lot of aircraft, fighter aircraft, used this particular engine. And this, in my opinion, was the key element that made the Hellcat so effective against the Japanese Zero airplane during World War II. I painted the entire engine black then I dry brushed each cylinder with the silver paint and then I painted the engine cover with gray. Once the gray was dry then I gave the entire engine a wash of black to simulate a used appearance. Okay, so we just finished building the model kit, and I'm about to tell you what I think about this kit so far. But before we do that, I want to take you on to a trip onto the flight deck. So, when there's when all the pilots need to go up to the flight deck, you're gonna have to take this particular uh, way to get get up there. Let's go ahead and pretend that there's going to be a, um, I don't know, an attack, and so all the pilots are gonna run up this this set of stairs. And then there's an escalator that propels the person to go even faster up into the flight deck. And now we're here. So let's go ahead and uh, let me tell you about the what I think about this kit so far.
This is the computer model kit after assembly. And I find this model kit easy and straightforward to build. The only issue I had about this kit was the cockpit. There were some fitting issues, but other than that, this model kit was straightforward and easy to build. The details are very nice, and I recommend this model for all skill levels, including the advanced modeler. If you're an advanced modeler and looking for a simple, straightforward kit to build that's fairly quick to do, this would be a nice model kit for you. It's time for me to paint the model. Okay, all right, so we're in, the, we're in the interior of the ship, and in this particular room is the, I think it's called the ordnance room, where they actually held all the bombs and torpedoes. And in this particular place, I think this particular room has only torpedoes in there. As you can well see, there's this torpedo and these two torpedoes right over here. And one of the most amazing things about this particular room is that these torpedoes, uh, when they're being serviced here, they have to be stored somewhere. And so they're stored right in here. I want to show you that right now. It's pretty gnarly. Take a look. Okay, so right now we're inside the um, officer's ready room, the police room. And this is the place where they um, have their briefings before they take flight. It's time for me to paint the model. I already gave the entire model a coat of black primer, but before I start painting the model, I want to tell you more about the color I'm going to use. Since we're on the USS Hornet and I'm giving you a tour of the ship, it's appropriate for me to actually paint this Hellcat in the colors of the USS Hornet. Uh, the USS Hornet, all the fighter uh, aircrafts were painted an overall dark blue. So I'm going to do that. I just finished painting the airplane and I want to talk to you more about exactly how I painted it in terms of highlights and shades. When the sun hits an object, it's going to cast highlights and shades. So when I was painting this model, I had that in mind. So right on top, right here along the ridge of the fuselage are the bright highlights and over here and on the wing are the highlights and right over here and down here are the base colors including right here the base color and right on the bottom is the dark shadow and right over here what I'm pointing at are the exact colors that I use to paint this model so here is the base color the dark shadow, the highlight, and the bright highlight. And I use all of these colors to make this model look as it is right now.
I'm going to simulate some chip paint by painting areas of the plane with silver. I'm going to simulate exhaust streaks. What I'm pointing at right here is a gray pastel chalk and I'm going to use this brush and brush on this area right here where there's going to be exhaust streaks. I'm going to simulate soot that came from machine gun blasts when it was firing. I'm going to use this black pastel chalk and brush that right along the wings right here to simulate the soot coming from the machine gun blasts. Right now we're inside the um, pilot's beds. These are the places where the pilots would um, would live, you know, during his time when when they're on the ship. So we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you the entire model kit from the beginning to the end. Take a look. So this is the completed model kit after painting and weathering. And I think I've done a okay job. What I like about the best thing about my work is the overall appearance of my paint job. Even though it looks like it's one color, dark blue, it's really four colors. And I made it look nice. The details on the kit is very nice. And the only real complaint I have about this kit is the quality of the decal. Um, they're not the best, but they're okay, really. Now, there is one mistake that I made on this kit, and that's the wheels. What I've done was I put the wheels on backwards. And once I realized I made that mistake, it was already too late. And so I'm just keeping it on as it is right now putting it on backwards and it's not a, it's not a problem for me really because this is a hobby um, there are perfectionists that are out there who would say making a mistake of putting these wheels on backwards I should um, not put this on YouTube and I should really just scrap the entire project altogether and that's not me my intentions to build a model kit is for me to enjoy this. Even though I have made a mistake right there, it doesn't deter my enjoyment for making a model kit. And in my personal opinion, I don't think it should be a problem for you either. Building model kits, in my opinion, is supposed to be enjoyable. If you make a mistake, who cares? It's all about you. It's all about you enjoying this model kit. Anyway, um, this is a very nice kit and I highly recommend this. And this plane has shot down more Japanese Zero fighters than any other uh, plane in World War II. And this also had another nickname. It was called the Zero Killer and for good reason. I'm going to add a link to a entertaining documentary about the Hellcat and it's well worth for you taking a look at. So if you're interested in more about Hellcats, this documentary that I'm linking to at the end of the video would be well worth for you to watch. Okay, so right, so right behind me is the elevators here on the ship. Let me show that to you. So what would happen is that during World War II, when the plane 
I landed, it would land all the way to the forward of the ship, right on top of the elevator, right over there. And then this elevator would bring the ship, uh, bring the plane down, excuse me, and put it into the hangar deck over here. So that completes this model project. What you're about to see is a video slideshow of this entire model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. So I hope this video encourages you to build a model kit of your own. And so, um, really, just build a model kit of your own. Uh, just don't rely on my video just to build a model kit. Look at other videos. Do your own research. But most of all, enjoy this hobby. I'm QDC and thanks for watching.